We knew what we needed from him today. He gave it to us. It didn't feel at the beginning um, like we may get there, but he figured that out. And uh, it, he made some real nice adjustments. The off-speed stuff kind of showed up uh, as the outing went on. He became much more efficient as the outing went on. I think he felt a lot better. And we were going to give him the opportunity to keep pitching for a little while, even sending him out there in the, in the sixth inning and letting him go a little bit further. Um, you know, sometimes that's, it's harder to do sometimes when a guy goes out there and throws close to 30 in the first and then comes back. And I think he threw 20 something pitches in the second inning. He was working really hard, but the latter half of the outing looked, looked pretty sharp. So, um, that was great to see. He gave us, like I said, what we needed. Our, our, our bullpen, part of our, our bullpen was beat up, uh, you know, after Kenta's start and having to cover a lot of innings. So we've needed to, um, we know we're going to have to look to a couple of our starters to go out there and pitch us a little bit deeper in the game. Bailey, Bailey had a nice start for us today. How much easier is it to feel comfortable building in these, you know, extra days for your starters when you know you've got guys like Bailey and Louie who are going to do? Yeah, yeah. You want to have that that confidence, and um, you feel like you're throwing a good major league pitcher out there um, to go win the game. You're not just out there covering innings. You got to you got to win. You got you got to find a way to get it done. And when you have those guys that um, we know what Bailey can do. Lou, Louis a little bit less uh, seasoned or you know a little less experienced, but has really good stuff and has competed very well for us. Bailey, when, when he's been on the mound as a major league pitcher for, for a while now, he's been, he's been very good. He's been solid. So um, we feel like we know what we're getting when we send him, really both of them out there. But Bailey uh, certainly gave us what we were hoping for today. Did he expect so much so soon from Polanco, third game back? My expectations for him are pretty high most of the time. So you never know what you're going to get when a guy is just returning. Um, you're not exactly expecting that person to be the one leading the charge. He led the charge, though. I mean, he went out there and had some really uh, competitive at-bats, both sides of the plate, did a good job. Um, actually, were they all right-handed? He had, he had a bunch. Of, I mean, I yeah, think his hits were right-handed. Um, but stayed on the ball well, turned on, you know, turns on the ball well. Um, Toby Gardenhire told me, he said he's swinging the bat really well right-handed after watching him. He said uh, in AAA on his rehab, uh, and it really, that, I mean, that that couldn't have been more apparent today. He looked great. It must have kind of help out the depth of the lineup against those lefties when you don't see him often, but then he's in the middle there with that right-handed swing. Now. Yeah. Um, well, when Polo's really swinging it, right-handed, he becomes a real dangerous player. He becomes a very valuable player in a lineup. Um, I've always spoken on the value that the switch hitters do bring. I mean, they, they lengthen the lineup. They, uh, they make, you know, making a lineup very easy. They make in-game decisions easier. They do a lot of things to help a team win a ball game. And, uh, you know, when he's going out there, he's, he's historically been an even better hitter from the left side. So when he's going out there and shooting the ball, you know, hitting line drives all over the field right-handed, I mean, that's, that's almost an added bonus. And, and uh, those balls, are they're well struck. He look good. How often do you practice the 2-6-3 double play? All the time. This is something I dream about at night and, uh, and all that. But those are, those are actually the plays. We do spend time on those plays. That's not the first time that play has been made this year. Um, in the game, you don't see it very often, but when Jace is leading all of our drills, and you know we've made that play many, many times. So, um, you know the, the 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 spin move on top of it, you know, added level of difficulty, but um, you know just as impressive. And uh, as long as we make the outs, that's really all that matters, and we were able to do that. You talk about Michael, Michael Taylor a little bit. He's been so consistent. Just an automatic out in center field. So, I mean, he's he is one of the best outfielders in our game, and having him out there um, playing basically every day uh, really strengthens our, our team. I mean, it it you know allows our corner outfielders to do their job and not have to. You almost get a chance to not worry about anything else going up in the middle of the field because Michael takes control very well. He knows which balls are are his. He gets. Uh, 
he has good instincts out there. He gets good jumps, um, closes on the ball well. He's got a good arm. He does. He's a very well-rounded outfielder, uh, and he takes a lot of pride in that. So he's done a great job. And then he's he has some, you know, that that snap in the bat too. I mean, he's able to go out there and and hunt a pitch, and when he gets it. Um, the ball comes off the bat very well. And so we got a chance to see that today. He hit that ball, everyone in the dugout, I mean, the second he hit it, we knew it was gone. And the ball's not going, you know, it's not going the way it will in the summertime right now. you got to really hit the ball well, and uh, he crushed that pitch. So he's done that a few times for us already this year. And, uh, you know, he's out there to help us win games. We know what we're going to get defensively, but when he's doing that offensively, it's a real uh, pick-me-up for everyone. You talk about the Yankees a little bit. I mean, I don't ever recall so having seen the Yankees twice in your 99 of April. Um, you know what? I'll talk about the fact that we're glad they're coming back into town and we get them again. We just saw them the other day. I think we had a competitive series. Um, they're a good team, but I'm looking forward to playing them. How, how aware of you were you of the uh, 300 number? Well, I don't really keep track of those things. Dustin Morris likes to keep track of those things, but I got a I got a nice uh, baseball for uh, and a lineup card for the for the mantle and the wins. The, the wins are all about the players. I mean, the players are out there doing uh, good things every day, and in all uh, 300 of those wins, they're they were the one leading the the way, uh, and you know they get this organization to to where we're going and. Um, We've won some games here. I've been a chance to be a part of some good teams, and uh, you know they're the ones that make it every day. Though when I show up to the ballpark, they, they I, I told them a second ago they keep me going, they keep the staff going because of the way they care and the way they work, uh, and the way they do their jobs, which is the right way. Only eight hundred some go to catch K TK. To catch who? TK. TK is on a level all by himself. All right, thanks, Ron. You got it, guys. Thanks,